Hi there, I'm Chrissy the Scottish Magpie. Um, I am going to show you my haul from a few charity shops I've went to um, over two days. So I have a little bit of footage from day one and it's only a small bit of footage. I'm so sorry. Again, the charity shops are so small. It is so hard to film in the UK. Um, so I am going to put the little bit of footage in here. Okay, so it's a brand new day. We're going to go thrifting to a few charity shops and we'll see how we get on. Lovely, and they're brand new, they've got their original tags. Okay. Thought they would do me. Oh, it's nice to get a bad thing. Thank you. So, we didn't get much out of those two at all, just a few things at that second one. We got some Tupperware, um, a pair of jogging bottoms for me, and then these they're like, um. It's like fruit in a cornucopia. It'd help if I showed you the right way around. See? Um, and they're by Woven Wonders. So there's two matching placemats there. We got them for a pound. And then we got the Tupperware, two pieces of Tupperware for a pound each. So two pounds for the two of those. I'm sorry, the sun's kind of shining in at a funny angle. So there's a few more here. This is um, Loki. So we're going to go to these ones and see how we get on. So watching back, there's a few things on these shelves that I kind of wish I took a second look at. That light blue bowl down there. I don't know why I didn't look at that one. <laughs> um, I'm just checking out a few things, but um, I'm kind of looking back thinking, why didn't I look at these other things? So these things as well, the plates, I looked at that one. 
and for some reason looking back I can see at the bottom of those two piles there's two blue and white plates that aren't of the same style as the rest of them and I just wish I'd have noticed that at the time also remember to pick up and have a look at footstools they can be they can bring in good money I pick up a load of beanie babies in this shop so stay tuned for the haul at the end so in this shop I'm having to do a voiceover the music was really really loud and there's nothing I can do that is the art glass basket I picked up I just wanted to show you um this is a I can't actually remember the brand but I was going to pick this up but he did have a broken paw um so I left that one behind he was cheaply priced but I think that was why and this is the Capo di Monte figure I've managed to pick up for five and then my art glass So this shop is um, known to be quite highly priced. So I tend to just do a general small sweep of this shop. It's quite small anyway. And they very rarely have a lot of bric-a-brac. Um, this is where I used to get the jewellery bags. Um, you know, like when, when we were having lockdown, we would open up for like a month or two and then get locked down again. You know, it was a bit sporadic like that. So when they opened up, they would sell off a load of stuff in bulk and that's where I'd get my jewellery bags. Uh, but they don't do them anymore. And that, I'm too scared to ask. <laughs> So as you can see, I didn't get a huge amount of footage when you see the amount of stuff I got. <laughs> so I'll try and go, um, so in the way of the video, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Um, okay, so we'll just start here because I, I definitely remember these, the cornucopia. Fruit in a cornucopia, um, like tapestry placemats, which is a little bit further back, so I have a bit more room. Um, so these are, I think you could even put Thanksgiving in the title for these, because I've seen some that are literally like this, and they're Thanksgiving. So. Um, we got the two of these for a pound and we could probably get a uh, 15, 18 pound for those. We got two pieces of retro orange Tupperware and it is actually Tupperware USA, Orlando, Florida. So the two of those, we got those for a pound each. So, um... And then since thrifting at these charity shops, I went to a jumble sale and I've picked up another like retro yellow one. So I'll show you that haul, but I'll probably sell the three of them together because I think they complement each other well. Okay, so then I got this. <laughs> Big. It's made in Italy um, and it has got the sticker... But above it, it says Style Capo di Monte. Style Capo di Monte made in Italy. So I bought this because this was originally £10 and they had this on for a half price sale at £4.99. Um, and I pretty much bought it because now my camera might be flipped. So this is Vino. Um, and I think the size of this and the big Vino sign um, and the Jolly Man. I think maybe 30, 35 for him. Okay. Then we have this lovely piece of art glass. We got this for £3.99. And I believe this to be Czech art glass. Um, I'll put the name of the glass maker up here. Um, because I believe I found him. This is lovely, in excellent condition. Three ninety nine, um, maybe twenty eight to thirty five ish, something like that. Then I got a big load of teddy bears, a load of beanie babies. 
Okay. <laughs> We've got loads of them. So some are 99p. Some 99p, 99p, 99p. And then the bigger ones, 199 and 199. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you paid nine pounds for all these Beanie Babies. And I think we could get maybe 25 to 30 for all these. We also got a Timon and Pumbaa. I thought they could go on. Uh, no, not Timon and Pumbaa. Pumbaa? Simba. Or which one was Timon? I can't remember. My kids will tell me. So we'll maybe get 12 for the two of them. Okay, so then we went. It was the next day and I went out thrifting again. Because I have a problem. I got this awesome vintage light shade it's glass um it's kind of got this it's not even frosty i couldn't even say that was frosty i don't know it's like a spaceship so we got this for two pounds and 50 pence and i think we could get at least 25 for that it's in nice condition yeah maybe like Tiny, tiny few flea bites. Maybe a tiny one there. But anyway, yeah, we still definitely get good money for it. This one we got for £2. This is vintage Chinese jadeite glass uh, butter dish. It is marked on the bottom. TPC China. But you'll call this jadeite glass. It's a nice fridge butter dish. Um, two pounds into 15, something like that. This is one of my favourite pieces. <laughs> wow. Um, this is, was four. No, I could hardly see the price in there. I had to see how much is it? Four there, four apparently. I got it for four. Perfect condition, no issues. Um, I'm not sure if this is Murano. It's a lovely paste on it. But um, either way, this is a lovely art glass sculpture. Um, for four, we could maybe get twenty eight to thirty five again for that. I squeeze a little bit more out of it if I can, but um, we'll wait and see. These are still wrapped up. Oh yeah, okay, I remember these. These are two little, like controlled bubble art glass dishes. We've got them two ninety nine each. They've got um like a polished pontel. So I managed to um find. The maker of these. These are white fryers, I believe. And I think for the two of them together, we can maybe get 25, 24, 25, something like that. Um, what else is in here? I don't actually remember. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. It's a little polar bear holding a fish. Figurine. Um, I don't know how much I got this for. Wouldn't have been more than 99p or something. Um, so obviously I forgot I had that. So I've not researched it. <laughs> um, let me just grab the other bunch of stuff. Um, oh yeah. Here we go. So... Um, I went to the cancer research and I got a lovely oil painting on canvas for three. Um, this is dated 1974. Now, I'm not saying the art is amazing, but I loved the subject of the flowers coming out the teapot. I loved the colours. I would happily hang this in my home. Um, nice 
vintage frame it's well done it's stamped something there Robertson London prepared by G Robertson and Co London so I really like that for three pounds um maybe 28 something like that Oh, I'll be open to offers. You know, I don't mind taking a few quid off. No problemo. I love this. I might keep this for myself. I got this for £2. It's a signed. Really want to try and get the signature. Um, I can't. It's flipped. It still won't make sense, will it? But yeah, I really like that glazed cup. I might keep that one. Got um I did research this and I, it's gone. It's a blue and white, it's almost like the blue onion mycin design. Um I'm pretty sure it was Danish though. TK it's marked there. Um, I actually, I need to double check. I think it was about a £25-ish gravy bowl. Good condition, no issues. We got a Build-A-Bear <laughs> owl in a leather biker jacket. <laughs> that was so random. £3. Do you know what? I've got um, another two Build-A-Bears that I'm going to put on to um, all three of them together. None of them are teddy bears, they're all animals. So I have a, a a reindeer that doesn't look Christmassy at all. It just looks like a reindeer. Um, that I will, I have another one, a dog. So I thought I'm going to put the three of those on together. And then the last one, is it the last one? No, it's not the last one, it's the second last one. Is this, it's like um, a top hat vase. Lovely, we got this for three. It's in excellent condition, no issues, and this is uranium glass. So it glows amazingly under UV light. And um, there is one more online for $29.99. So I don't want to undercut them too much. Um, so $27.28. And then the last one are these candle holders. So I'm not sure which way around they go, whether they go that way. But this bit isn't, I don't think, polished finely or anything. But this way, where they're flat, and this bit up here is nice and curved and polished, exactly how you would expect the top of a piece of glass to be. So I think they go that way. I might be wrong, but I think they go that way. And these are by, um, who were they again? Musees Paris, M-U-S-E-E-S -E -E Paris. Um, and we got these for 30 pence each, so 60p. And these are worth um, maybe 23, 26 pounds-ish, maybe a little bit more. Problem with these is they have a few flea bites around here, like just around the edge, you can just feel them. And then they've got wax in here because someone's obviously used them that way around. I genuinely, genuinely don't think they go that way around. I think they go that way around. I genuinely might be wrong. <laughs> so that is my haul. Um, loads of glass again, ceramics, uh, vintage Tupperware, <laughs> you know. So yeah, really good haul. Um, hopefully some good money. I really need to get some of these pieces online. There's like the few glass pieces that I, I absolutely love. I have a problem. I have a really, really bad problem. So yeah, super, super happy with this lot. So I went to um, 
the jumbo sale like I told you so I'm going to be uploading that video soon as well because there's a lot of things in there that I really am desperate to get online um once I actually took the bag away because I got a huge bag of clothes as well and once I took all that away I was like oh it's not a huge amount but it's still decent you know what I mean it's still still a video's worth you'll still enjoy it and there's still some really nice pieces um and then today I went to the Errol Market but I didn't get a massive amount there either I certainly didn't get much footage but I did get some nice pieces some really nice glass pieces so I'm looking forward to showing you that video as well so thank you for watching um thank you for subscribing um and I'll upload again soon bye